Hey, hello YouTubers. Welcome back to Lynn's Hot Rod Speed Shop. I've been doing a little work on the pickup truck, the service truck I'm going to be doing for this shop. And um, I'm going to show you a few tricks and tips what I be uh, what I'm doing. And um, I hope it helps a little for some. It doesn't cost much. All you need to do is find a dollar store. One dollar for two packs, which has six rolls, four rolls, five colors. All the wires you need are there in the beading sections. Let me show you. All right, here, let me show you. These ones are chrome. There's a lot of other colors like these ones are bigger. A little bit bigger, but they're like gun metal. You can find these also. These are real cool to have. Those little hooks. They're called beading and jewelry. Eye hooks. That's what you get. You want some wiring, beading wiring? One dollar, guys. You get like 13 to 15 feet of every color you see here. You get leather, real leather, and cordage. Them lights, no. You get these little sparkles also. To mix in your paint. Those are metal flakes. Different colors. As you can see there's a little radar, toy radar. Dollar pack for about 200 little soldiers. These kind of beads also are good. These are white. Budgie beads. Well, anyways, here goes. Here's the first tip and trick what I've been doing on my little truck here. Let's explain the first tip and trick here. What I'm going to be trying to do here is these are little metal wiring for putting the beads in, but these are cool because they're like anodized and this one is orange this one is orange uh -oh, let's get the colors here we go and uh, this one compared to it is red. Oh, here we see him. I'm going to be trying to put the wire to make a strip. I don't know what it's going to look like, but it's only started. You see this one moved in. It's not glued or nothing. It's just to see try to make a different effect and um, I'm also searching for little pulleys these are buttons this is the back part this is the front part this snaps into it Can make some kind of a whatever. Looks new. Looks neat. Looks cool. It's hard. It's metal. The other thing I'm going to be trying to do is for the pipes. These are going to be my tube pipes. Those are my tubing. I will try to find some aluminum tubing instead. Drill a hole. 
drill the bottom hole and fix it to the system that comes with the truck or modify it if I have to. Uh, as you know, I am using big wheels on the truck. So there are big brakes. But this brakes are big. So I'm going to be painting them instead of red, the orange theme which I'm going to be using on the truck first coat guys only first coat what I'm doing with this part here is underneath this comes from the um, Jetta toys I took the wheels off of one of them because I wanted to have them and this is the way the disc brakes were made out of it so what I've decided to do is create my own little lines, brake lines, to have it look like this. Which I think is real cool. So what I did, I I bought this thing here, this black part, I don't know the name for it, but it goes on a Dremel tool, and uh, if you go to you, your local store, your uh, carpenter store, they have these very fine drill bits. This is really big compared to what they have. Um, you can go like three zeros it's really it's like you can drill in there in this one <laughs> so what I did is I took my brake and close here this part to the disc brake I took this and drilled the hole in here. As you can see, I drilled the hole right in here, in this rod, like right through. And from there on, I went and found this also, which is really cool. This is polyester, but it's braided line. This is really nice for a dollar. Look at what I got. This is full. I'm going to have for enough for a few cars, let me tell you. Still at the dollar store. And what I used to do these yellow things here to make it look nicer, I bought the yellow beads. Still one dollar for this pot. More than enough. So that's another project I'm having. Thanks for watching and the next update is the inside of the truck. Stay tuned.